Welcome back to another episode of EU4. Um, crap almighty, do I need to improve my uh, stability? I am boned. Oh, boost. Yay, now I need to wait longer to boost it again. Yeah, at least your uh, religious unity isn't 47%, because that affects your stability costs. Yeah. No thank you. I'm glad I don't have that much. But we do have... I have plenty of other stuff I gotta manage as well. I am luckily at 81%. Man, I really wish this war would end. Oh man, I'm like starting to lose money because of this war. I like how it sometimes just takes forever for the, uh... I mean, you've conquered everything, but they won't accept or do anything. Of course, I only have 59% war score, so it's not like I can push an issue. Burgundy's having issues. Yep. having a religious dispute because I have Catholic reformed and Protestant but I can't do anything about it until you end your war <laughs> oh really yep you can't switch religions while at war whoops I take it you can't peace out I probably could but I'm not too worried about it You're in the wrong area. That's probably why I'm losing some money. Had a guy on an attrition area. I also didn't have any available diplomats. That kind of makes a big difference. Yep. Yeah, now that I'm able to maintain, it's kind of difficult to remember to pull them back in time. There we go. What do I want? They probably won't let me take Kazan at all, right? Full annexation, not even a pro. Oh, I can't do that. I can come really close though. can I get? No, I can't do that. Can't do that. Can I do that? I'm starting to get war exhaustion now. Yep, just take what you can get then. Oh, I can't because Poland will get that one. I don't want Poland to get that. Because that's going to help me. I could do that. That'd be nice. But why can't I do this? Because demands exceed war score. Barely. Oh, now we'll do it. Yay. Uh... Kazan's entered a coalition against me, so is Nagai. We have a Cassius Belle against Kazan. Royal marriage from Poland. Trade dispute against someone else that I don't care about. Alright, well, we need to improve our legitimacy first. Or not legitimacy, our, um... Oh, crap. Stability. Can't. Because that's too damn expensive.
I'm just hurting for, um, what do you want to call that? Administrative power right now. Wow, my diplomatic tech is just flying. Yeah, mine's really low. I haven't had any good diplomatic rulers, and I've been going up the trade tree to begin with. Oh, I can form Russia. Nice. I don't think I'm ready to, but I can. Uh, Crimea is actually at war with the Ottomans right now. Really? Yep. Well, if I wasn't so... Gosh darn hurt, I could probably do it. But I'm overextended, something fierce. I have a lot of, uh. Well, I'm having a lot of issues. <laughs> to say the least. Welcome to the club. It's tough to rule a country this large. Call to arms. Started a war ag against Venice. Oh, I'm in a war against Poland. That's not what I wanted. I don't want to deal with them. How can I piece out of this? I should have read that. I read that wrong. Completely wrong. That's the sad part. Something tells me if I do this, I'm probably going to get Poland and Lithuania pissed off, but whatever. Fighting too many damn disobediences to deal with, uh, deal with another war. I should have read that better. I can't believe I... Ah, oh, I hate that. <laughs> when you don't Reading pay attention. Comprehension. I, I misread the, the way that the allies worked. Yep. I'm hoping only another four years or so before I can declare war in England. Ended up accidentally going to war against an ally. Totally not what I wanted. But good news, we can start working on our... Overextension again. End of religious turmoil. Come on, hurry up. There we go. See if I can't change the way the war works over on this end of the world. Man. I feel like I'm stretching myself thin yet again.
Probably not the best of ideas. But oh well, is what it is. Yep. I'm just waiting over here to, for my regency to end. Great, I have rebels in my in my areas. You have to start sending stuff back to them here momentarily as soon as I finish this capture. Hopefully before they capture. I like how there's a random friend or French territory over here. Where at? Or not French territory, but uh, Provence sent an army over here. Oh yeah, they're sieging you down. They can't, but they, they can't. Guy. <laughs> Makes it a little difficult. So how's that new world coming, Gilly? Uh, I have three provinces. So one more and you'll pick up a colonial nation? Uh, is it four or five? I think it's four. It might be five. I think it's five, isn't it? I've got to win this battle here shortly. Come on, men. Make it quick. Gotta stop these damn rebels in the other half of the world. Okay, well, you're gonna go back then. Because these guys obviously failed. Sixty-three percent and I haven't won. That's impressive. Wow. Revolt, 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 revolt. You'll probably want to bring uh, more than just one stack over there. Holy crap, yep. not a good time for these revolts to just come across my lands. Even my regency council sucks at diplomacy. And my next ruler has a zero diplomacy skill. That's useful. I cannot, I cannot catch a break for diplomacy power. Military leader has died. That's never good. Where's my military? Military, you need a new leader. Ah, oh, you're freaking horrible. Goodbye. Fired him. Eh, you're not as good. Well, all my wars ended. Thankfully, they all ended, I should say. Man, 
So much stuff. Alright, I don't want to turn to Russia yet, as much as it'd be perfect timing because of the, the war going on down there. Um, we've recently sent a diplomat, so we can't send another yet. Now we can. Yeah, I kind of forgot that you lose, um, core creation whenever you, uh... When you get sieged down, yeah. yeah. That sucks a lot. Kind of forgot about that one. Or at least I was not ready for it. So Gilly's out in the Canary Islands somewhere? Well, he has the Canary Islands, and he's also over in the New World. Really? Yeah. 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 So I've got one already done. I'm doing two more right now. So what does the New World look like? Can't tell you. I can't really tell you that. I haven't explored a whole bunch of it yet. I'm surprised you went to the New World like that. Well, I could, so I did. You kind of got kicked out of uh, Spain. Yeah, I, I had to do something because Spain was. Uh, I didn't really get kicked out. Just, I couldn't really do anything, so I changed my uh, game plan. Makes sense. So you're going to the New World to conquer the poor, helpless tribes there. Yeah. More trade, more manpower, more, you know. It happens. Wish I was allied with you so I could see it. Right now it's just a big white blob. It's actually a very big white blob. It's bigger than Asia. One of my advisors died. Oh, who to get? You seem useful. I am going to colonize Puerto Rico. <laughs> Seems like a good thing to do. Yeah, I like those guys. They were getting a little burnt. Ooh, Messed my advisors are being a little expensive. If you have high inflation, that will affect it. Yep. How do I drop the inflation? You spend administrative points, I believe. It's under the uh, economy. Yeah, it's administrative points. Oh, uh, reduce inflation. You... Yeah. Yep. As long as it's over 2%, you can do it. Yeah, right. Oh, well, it's on its way down. It's at 2%. What I need to do is get rid of some of this uh, stuff that I, I need to make this one territory core. So you're embracing the Counter-Reformation, Gilly? Kicking all the non-Catholics out? There we go. I'm trying to. Oh, that'll help with the overextension. Oh means... god, yes. My ruler came of age. Time to go to war for uh, against England. Good luck. May it be a successful battle. I'm probably not going to be able to help you. Just a warning. I didn't call you in. Oh, that's the one territory. Okay, it's tiny. Yep. Can you even get to England, though? Nope, but I don't need to. I'm claiming this territory, so... Gotcha. Well, that works. I'm at war with England and Portugal.
and I am producing sugar. And I am supplying 22% of the demand. Nice. Wait, you can read into that? Yeah, if you look at your, what you're doing, it says current price is 7 with a supply of 22.6%. And the demand's at 58%. Well, actually, I'm supplying about half. That's under your trade menu? No, it's on the... Uh, if you click on, like, a territory, down at the bottom, it tells you what they produce. If you just mouse over it. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, it's really hard for England to land troops here, because they can only land um, 17,000 at a time, and I have 40,000 sitting here. So they're immediately wiped out upon landing on the shores of Holland. Oh, that makes it convenient. Yeah, the one bad part is they have me blockaded pretty well, because I don't have any ships. Yeah, they have, what, 29 ships over there? Yes. That'd and I'm difficult. way, way behind in Diplotech, so... That would make it a little difficult. Yeah, they have 15 heavy ships. <laughs> oh, yes, I have colonists. So you can start on Siberia? Yep. Let our Cossacks go forth. Wow, the English troops are terrible. I don't know how it, what it is, but I am wiping them out big time. I'm not I'm losing like 2000 men and they're losing 15. Jeez. All right, so now that I have these colonists, how do I use them? You oh. can you click on the province you want to expand into. So, and there will be a Sen province or Sen colonists. You have to border it, and it has to be a non-wasteland and not owned by anybody else. So basically, Siberia. Yep, you'll be expanding east. I can't go west. And everything's been already colonized there. Oh, I see. There's natives. There's a crap ton yep. of natives there. How do I do feudal yep. monocracy? You probably are a feudal monarch. So how do I deal with these natives? You send your troops over there and either have them sit on it for the whole time, or you have them um, destroy the natives by using the kill the natives tab or option. Oh, well, that's never nice. Cost you 50 military power. Well, that's not too bad. Nope. Alright, so here's the question. Um, I can only send one set of colonists at a time, and then I can just keep bouncing them as they go? Yep. Okay. And as long as you have a colonist on somewhere, you get um, more, or a higher chance of people actually uh, settling there. Gotcha. So I'm going to go send my army onto that territory that the colonists are heading to. To Yeah, you only need a couple thousand troops. They're natives. They're unarmed, pretty much. Peasants, you can rip through them with a couple thousand men. That's all you need. So I don't even need my full... No. 20,000. Uh, you probably at most want four or five thousand at, at most. Gotcha. I think I brought five thousand, and that's when I had multiple colonists over there, and I was running three provinces at once and just split up the 5,000 men between three provinces. Okay. And especially as you get higher in tech, your tech just completely outclasses the natives. Gotcha. Well, that makes it easy. Ish. Yep. So if a place is a wasteland, you can't settle there? Correct. Yeah, I have a I couple of those to the north of me. Can you see where I'm settling over here, Zaro? I can just see Curacao and Dominica. Uh, well, over here there's a place called Colony, and it's a wasteland. <laughs> Doesn't sound like much of a colony, does it? Not really. 
How long does it take to build a colony, apparently? Uh, well, about 10 years. Yeah, it just depends. Right now I'm getting 58, a, like, what is it, a year or a month going in. Gotcha. So 53 people a year, and it takes, once it gets 1,000 people. So that's about 20 years for that area. Tropical uh, colonies are harder to raise up than normal colonies, temporarily. But every so often you get one of these little deals where it says you get 100 extra colonists in so-and-so or 200 in so-and-so. You just have to pay a little bit of cash. Oh, now I'm back to neutral stability. Good God, that took forever. Whew, that was rough. Sugar will be produced in Guadalupe. Man, I need a better leader or something. My administrative just takes forever. Yeah, that's what I got. I'm a 303. So my next uh, leader is pretty nice as long as she survives. She's a 436. How can you see your next leader? It's your heir there. And if you go under fuel, oh, I uh, see. If you go under your yeah. government. Oh, 445. Very nice. Hmm. Prestige. We have three royal marriages that will have a falling effect. Legitimacy and new marriage. Yeah, sure. Seems good. England stopped sending troops over after they lost 50,000. Oh, I have a claim on Crimea. Oh, so they just fed them to the grinder one at a time? Uh, 17,000 at a, a time. That took a hell of a long time. I wiped their armies out almost immediately. They had nowhere to retreat to, and I crushed them without losing anybody, really. Gotcha. I am down about 5,000 manpower throughout this war, and they're down 50,000. Yeah, that's a, uh, a heck of a difference. Yep. So what's your war score, then? 14. Wow, after slaughtering all that. Oh, the big thing is, yeah, I, I won a lot for that, but for um, they have me blockaded at 80%. Which is giving them a plus 5. Plus 6, yeah. Yeah, I have a battle here that gave me 6 points. Oh, inflation, why do you suck so bad? There, drive down the inflation some. Ooh, that was expensive. <laughs> My, um, vassals actually walked all the way down to Spain and is fighting Portugal, their ally. Tuh, <laughs> random. And winning. maintenance is a little high. Is there any reason why dropping the army maintenance down a little bit is a bad thing? Uh, if you're not at war, it's not that bad. But it's harder to handle rebels. Yeah, they don't too, the morale drops in your military. Well, I dropped it a little. I'll just have to remember to boost it back up. 
It'll give you a warning when you go to war if it's not up. Gotcha. Okay. And then I can bump it back up. Yep. That's easy enough to deal with. Pricey. And I get to go through all these territories and see which of these I want to build all this junk on again. Um, peasant wars. Interesting. How long have we been going? Uh, I don't know, but probably might want to end it here shortly. Let me take a look. I, again, didn't run a stopwatch like I probably should have. But, oh well. So we'll probably end it here shortly then. No production. Uh, what? Oh, chorus created. I was confused for a second there. I was like, what in the world just happened? Gosh darn revolts. Yikes. You weren't kidding. Your armies, the uh, They get a little feisty when you start losing, or when you don't have a, uh, what you want to call it? Yeah. Yeah, Diplo 11. My military is still very low. I'll have to work at uh, bumping that up here somehow. Alright, well, let's go ahead and wrap it up there. Probably seems like a, um, a good place to call it. Anyway, thank you everybody for tuning into this episode of our Let's Play of uh, Europa, Europa, hey, Europa, well, whatever, EU4. <laughs> it's getting late and I can't talk. Alright guys, well, catch you all later, thanks for tuning in, see you in the next episode.